hey guys, uh, get my full unfiltered show the way you can't here on YouTube by visiting thecomicsgym.com. It's free and totally uncensored. Oh, positive thinking. If you think something positive, it'll actually happen for you. I go, if that was true, <laughs> if that was true, right now I'd be in Jennifer Anderson's bathroom pulling one of her pubes out of my eye teeth <laughs> while she's laying on the bed diddling herself to my Comedy Central Presents special. <laughs> Never happened. I always uh, end up in the shower with a fistful of Prell yelling, Rachel! I'm just saying, that is my ultimate. Ass like a nectarine, tits perfect, face of an angel. Face of an angel, dang. But, uh, and I'll say this, and I'm not, my, my wife is uh, right there. It's fucking what I'm, oh, ming yeah. See my wife now, we go to the supermarket, and there's, I see guys in their 20s checking her out. Got a body that won't stop until she gets around me. Anyways. <laughs> Jennifer Aniston. Why am I talking about her other than I dream about her? <clears throat> oh, by the way, and Shannon Bream's up there too. Jennifer Aniston is drawing a hard line. Oh, good. Finally, somebody qualified to talk about COVID. First of all, she was talking about COVID in that tank top. Who's listening? Other than maybe Lindsey Graham. Jennifer Aniston is drawing a hard line between her and those who aren't vaccinated against COVID-19. What did I tell you about Hollywood? And if you stay there long enough, how you get dumbed down to almost retarded? I guarantee you she wasn't like this when, when uh, although she was born in Pasadena. Eh. Um, uh, if you stay there, that cancer, that PC garbage, first, when you get there, you realize you have to go with the narrative because you won't get work. And then it gets into your DNA and you start to believe the shit. So I, I believe that whole, this almost turned me off, but not really. Um, it's like when you see a real hot chick when you were young at a party and she opens her mouth and she makes some stupid statement. I like Fritos. <laughs> you Frank used to have a joke. Can you put the air on? Knock it down a few notches, Matthew. Andrew, uh, you think uh, he used to write for SNL, very funny guy. <laughs> he used to have a joke about taking a girl out on a first date. You know, you meet real classy, you bring her to like a real expensive French restaurant. And the uh, waiter's like, what kind of uh, dressing would you like, uh, ma'am? And she's like, ranch. <laughs> uh, anyways, <clears throat> I'm having fun today. The Friends alum revealed to InStyle Magazine, one of my favorites, that she has cut ties, this really bummed me out about her, with a few people who won't receive the jab. Can you imagine? Hasta la vista, baby. Uh, there's still a large group of people, she says, who are anti-vaxxers or just don't listen to the facts. I hate to break this to you, um, Jennifer. Most of those, a majority of those peoples, and you can look these numbers up, are black and brown people. Hispanics, 42%. Uh, blacks are at 31% as far as vaccination. Yet everybody's blaming the Trump supporters, whites, blah, blah, blah. She says, it's a real shame, she said in her in-style September cover interview that I had to rinse off. I, uh, uh, I've just lost a few people in my weekly routine who have refused or did not disclose whether or not they had been vaccinated, and it was unfortunate. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Really? What's unfortunate, Miss Aniston, is that you call them your friends and then you get rid of them because they had a different opinion you on, on, on vaccinations than you did. That's not very nice. Are you the diva I've been hearing about? I should say diva, not diva. But you know, then again, I'm from the Boston area. The Golden Globe winner, 52, going on yummy, yum, yummy. Look at that. She's doing a uh, dirty children pose. I don't know what it is. <laughs> She's loosening those hips for some reason. Let me tell you something. The Golden Globe winner, 52, said it's a moral and professional. Here we go with the moral. Here we go with what liberals do, especially Hollywood ones. It's a moral obligation. What makes you morally superior and to call that? Moral and professional obligation to inform people of the benefits of the vaccine, but acknowledged people have their own beliefs. Yeah, you know what they call that, Jennifer? It's freedom, baby, yeah. 
It's tricky, she says, because everyone is entitled to their own opinion. But if I don't like it, I'm not going to hang out with them. Uh, but a lot of opinions don't feel based in anything except for or propaganda, she said. <laughs> what are you talking shut about? Shut up. Mind your fucking business and shut up. This is somebody who ingests CNN, you know, MSNBC, and she's calling what, I guess, Fox or anybody else. I was looking for the arms on this chair. I changed chairs. <laughs> Uh, I already fell once. I got damaged. Uh, but anyway, she, you know, uh, yeah, they, people have a right to... Hey, here, here you go, Jennifer. Let me make it easy for you because I know you're a big feminist. You probably love killing babies. Um, my body, my choice. I wish it was your body and my choice. Get out of here. That's a silly... Answer. Anyway, Aniston has been vocal throughout the fight against coronavirus, urging her Instagram followers to wear a damn mask. I will if you wear a pair of panties to Ralph's supermarket so the paparazzi can get it out of the She says, I understand masks are inconvenient and uncomfortable, but don't you feel that it's worse that businesses are shutting down, jobs are being lost, healthcare workers are hitting absolute exhaustion? What is she stuck a year ago? She wrote alongside a selfie in her mask. Look at those fucking eyes. <laughs> I got your Batman. Ah! And so many lives have been taken by this virus. Really not, Jennifer. If you do your, do your homework, it's just like a, a flu. But... <sighs> do you know when the Spanish flu won? What was it? One in 50-something people in their 40s or less would die of the Spanish flu? Now, that's a pandemic. Many lives have been taken by the virus because we aren't doing Enough, she said. You are so wrong, my lovely dear. Anyway, still like to meet you. Hey, guys, watch the full episode of the Nick DiPaolo Show uh, for free on Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, Android, iPhone, Android Mobile, or on your computer for free by visiting thecomicsgym.com or downloading the Comics Gym app.